Lieutenant Edward V. Ezoch, World War I hero and Medal of Honor recipient. Assigned as the afterdeck gunnery officer on the USS President Lincoln, Ezoch helped transport 23,000 soldiers to France over five successful transatlantic voyages. May 31, 1918, disaster struck as German U-boat U-90 launched a devastating torpedo attack on the USS President Lincoln. The ship sank in under 30 minutes, taking 26 lives with it. Ezoch was captured and taken prisoner. During his time aboard the U-90, he gathered valuable intel on German submarines and their operations, carefully concealing his knowledge of the German language. Determined to escape, Ezoch made several daring attempts. He jumped from a moving train, resulting in severe injuries and brutal beatings upon recapture. In the POW camp, Ezoch devised another escape plan. Leading a small team, they created a diversion that allowed 70 prisoners to escape through the front gate. Tragically, only three reached safety. Ezoch and his partner traveled 120 treacherous miles, evading capture and foraging for food. They crawled past German sentries and braved freezing waters before finally reaching Switzerland. There, Ezoch reported his findings to Admiral Sims in London, and later received the Medal of Honor for his extraordinary efforts as a prisoner of war. After the war, Ezoch retired from the Navy, settled in California, and became a freelance writer. He eventually entered politics, representing San Diego in Congress for 10 years. In 1945, Ezoch was asked by General Eisenhower to join the congressional delegation inspecting the liberated concentration camps of Dachau, Buchenwald, and Nordhausen, co-authoring a report on the atrocities. At the time of his death in 1990, Edward Ezoch was 98 years old, the oldest living Medal of Honor recipient and the last surviving recipient from World War I.